Yo, what's up, what's up, everybody? It's your boy B2, producer of Shatawale's Pool Pan. Yeah, so way back in SHS, we all go to school and we're looking for cool names to like to get. You know, sometimes uh, our school fathers used to come and they're like, "You, I'll call you Ice Water, uh, Mashke, and those kind of stuff." You know, my school father was called B1, and he had to give me B2, so that's how I got the name B2. So it was like B1, B2. Yeah, so I've been in the industry for quite a while now. Over the year, I've been producing mainstream artists in GH such as EL, Joey B, Papi Kojo, Easy, AK Songstress, Edem, um, yeah, quite, quite, quite a number of artists. I, I would say EL is like a godfather to me, so EL I've produced, EL's Babalaja, EL Segefia, The Bar, and other, other tunes are to come, Shatawale's Pupa, which we'll be getting to. Being a producer is very difficult, you know, because I'm an artist as well. So learning both sides is, is, is a hectic job. So currently, I'm part of a bigger crew, Dope Nation, with my brother Twist, who is also a producer and an artist. Yeah, so as Dope Nation, we have a song titled Baby Aeshe. You should go check it out on Google, on YouTube. Very nice song, directed by Esiano Kumoji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Kupa and how it happened. We are in the studio, vibe with the listen songs. All of a sudden, somebody calls. Hey, what's up, B2? I like your beats. You're doing well in the capital, and I want to check some of your beats out. Just drop me one, let's work. I'm like, who is this person? And he says, it's Shatawale. That's how it all happened. Honestly, one funny thing people don't know is that um, the making of Pupa from the beat to recording and then release of the song was in about 18 hours. After 18 hours, I hear the song is out. Now we just wait one week, two weeks, and Charlie, the song is everywhere. So first of all, I'd like to say big up and salute to the dancehall king himself, Shatawale Charlie. Dope, dope, dope versatile artist, you know, respect. So I just feel I should share this special experience I have had with Shatawale by making you know from top to down how the beat was constructed. So basically this is the, the whole, what should I call it? The beat, the structure and everything. So let's get into it. Okay, so actually I used a snare, okay, a snare and then I tweaked it. So I tuned it out a little bit so that it doesn't sound all mushy and stuff. So it sounds sharp. So it sounds like... Okay, so... Okay, I think we have to... Okay, so now we have this clap. What I do is that I support the clap with... So yes, I'm like... Okay, so it's like when you get people in some Jama squad, you know, like everybody's clapping and then it's like... This clap is supporting the other one, you know, it gives it that kind of um, feel. Then I have this um, conga, you hear the conga, go like, the conga goes like, okay, so we have that one too inside. And then we have percussions, okay, there are percussions in the beat. Okay, so this, this one keeps the beat going, okay, and then we have, we have other claps too that are inside and they're just making it sound like, um, how should I put this? It makes it makes it sound a lot, okay? It gives it that nice feel. So it goes like this. Okay? So now you hear one clap, and what happens is that this clap, I've affected it with um, a reverb. So it goes like, okay? And then it has a, like this reverb effect at the back. Okay, so what I do next is that I add a kick. And the kick goes like, So as it's going, then you support it. If you're having headphones, you'll be able to hear the A to it. Okay, going like. All right. So now that we have this as the bass drum line, what we do is that um, I have the um, 
plug the tar that I add to it, that gives it the whole azoto feel. That that is the base of pupa. We go with the trumpet, so it goes like. All right. Pupa has a lead, uh, a certain bass lead that starts the the song. That is, it has this unique lead. You know, when you hear that Pupa is about to start, you know that oh yeah, that's the song. Pupa, Pupa. Um, you hear this bass going through the beat. Like, you know, Okay, so right after that, then you have the um, the trademark. So Agbenebi Tiabe is. One nice thing about um, a cool pan beat is that it has a certain melody. You know, apart from the fact that we are listening to a, a fast tempo um, Afro beat. It has a, a, a melody that goes like Okay, so okay, It just, it, it, it changes the whole thing, it makes it sound very nice Okay, okay yeah, so if you're having headphones, you'll be able to hear that the, the bass guitar is also sounding so So, um, when you play both, it's like one of the transitions in Pupa is where the break goes like This is how it basically sounds on your pattern what you do is that you hear the kick and then I play the um, the lead, the bass lead that you hear from the beginning of the, the, the song. So it, it merges the two together and you hear something like that. Okay. And when you have that, there is one uh, effect I just have. So I, what I did was that um, with the brakes I just decided to cut in between where the kicks come and then the brakes come you know and you hear it's okay then a bass drop it sounds like okay it's at the end of the transition so you hear something it's, it's very short you know it's not that yeah, yeah. okay so with the um afro beat feel i just decided to merge house music with um afro beat so straight from afro we just switch to house music with the same melody and then after that we decided to put it back to uh afro so you have something like <laughs> Straight up, it just switches. Let me go back. Yep, you export the file. Yeah, and that's how I produce Shatter Alice's book. Boy, <laughs> 